Hi guys, welcome to this session. I'm Rahul from Team Cloudy ML, and today I'm going to discuss a data analyst complete roadmap with you guys. So let's get started. So, uh, like data analyst. Uh, you know, we have we need to learn certain skills for that and those skills are like python sql tableau excel power bi these things and you must possess data analysis skills like you you can analyze data i if i give you a certain data and you can tell me the whole story about it you need to know all these things and as a beginner how you can approach this how you can approach this let's see first python what things you need to learn in python first of all you need to know the core concepts of python for example data types conditional statements like if else loop like for loop while loop how to define a function how to uh, know some like you can skip these things object oriented programming you can skip this that's not necessary uh, you can skip this for now uh, you need to know error ha and exception handling thing you need to know like uh, core python things for example uh, through python also you can analyze data and uh, there are some things uh, like uh, you can learn the core concept of missing values imputing missing values through python and as an analyst like somewhere you can see that you don't need to uh, use python but as a like from my experience i can tell you that you must know one programming language uh, that can help you in some way either today or in future and even through python there are some analysis libraries like cborn matplotlib uh, and these are uh, good libraries so through python also like some companies they do analyzation through python and r language so i think you must know python language and as a beginner you can do this in 20 to 25 days uh, i don't want to give you any uh, unrealistic number like sometimes you may see that learn python in 3 days one week i will say that at least you need to give 20 to 25 days to uh, let the concept sink in your, in your brain so on python you can spend at least 20 to 25 days and if you feel that you need to spend some time more don't rush take some more time uh revise and uh, pra do practice on it so next thing is like uh, as i said that uh, uh when you work on a data set you need to do uh, data cleaning you need to fix some columns rows based on the problems they have like missing values uh um and some like you need some missing values and some data can be corrupted you may need to remove it so you need to remove duplicates also you may need to normalize the data uh, you may not do, do, do you may not necessary to do it here you sometimes you do these things in machine learning side but yeah you need to do merging data sets sometimes and rebuilding missing data like just imputing it so data cleaning is very important part of it and uh, when you know this you can do all these things in tableau excel power bi also so all these things uh, comes in python also like you will learn this since when you will start working on pandas you will do all these things next next the major thing as a data analyst is data visualization how you express data how you visualize data how you understand it so that you can explain it you can convert data into the form of story like uh, anal when you have gone through the whole data you can explain it through a story a story form and then you use this chart and all and then you can improve them even how like for example as a data analyst sometimes you may need to explain data to your investors and investors they don't know data science so you need to prepare such charts easy charts that they look at it and they can understand what's going on so next thing comes is like main tools of as a data analyst this is like your main uh, arms main you know so this is your 
energy you know? based on this you will do everything you can show everything first thing is excel and in excel i haven't covered all keywords here but but the main point is like you must know all basics and most common things in excel all functions and advanced keywords of excel like h lookup v lookup pivot tables filters charts functions all kinds of functions calculations so you must know all these things and excel may look complicated if you don't know about it but trust me uh, if you start watching tutorial and while watching tutorial you start working on excel it will be very easy to do it so you must do it uh, with practice and it can take at least 15 days to know to get the idea of the whole excel all these things for example let's say in 15 days you finished excel tutorial all the tutorials and you even worked on it you may feel that oh i'm forgetting these things that's okay once you have done it at least once you know what's going on and then you can uh, just revise it once like after doing the whole tutorial what you can do is you can start reading interview questions on excel which will give you a revision and it will give you a picture in your mind that oh you need to do this certain thing in these steps and you have done it once so in this way you will be able to do it now next thing is tableau uh personally i have done excel also not complete but some part of it and excel tableau also that's why i can give you this tentative days number like tableau i have done uh, my project on tableau and uh, it took me like i i spent literally like 5 days completely spending like 6 to 7 hours on tableau and it's easy to use you can do it in uh, this period but if your pace is little bit slow just because you are complete beginner that's completely okay you don't need to worry about that that some some people they, they have done it in these days why can't i do it we all have different pace we all have different uh, we are different process of learning so it may take some time extra or even less also and in tableau like these uh, keywords filters sets parameters calculated fields dashboard story union joins these are uh, some hot keywords uh, but these are not the complete keywords so you must uh, check uh, syllabus covered in the course if you are following a course or any tutorial on youtube how much they have covered and how much you need to know to get into the job so you can check job descriptions like what they are asking uh, what is the level of tableau they are asking but since as a, you are as an analyst i am assuring you like you can finish all these things in 3 months and you can get a job in it also so 15 to 20 days i will say minimum uh you can take extra time by working on some case studies also next thing is power bi so in power bi these are also some hot keywords and power bi is also similar to tableau and it's very easy to use and easy to interpret also uh the only thing you may feel a difficulty in beginning is like there are a lot of charts and you may not understand how to understand those charts but that's okay you can google about those charts and you can understand how to take insights from those charts and some methods may be different than tableau but the main thing is they do the same job they just the function may be different so that this is also you can spend 15 to 20 days and if you ask like how many hours i need to give every day well if you want to finish all these things so then i will say that you must give at least 6 hours every day uh on learning and revision revision also and you don't need to necessarily just jump into python for constantly 20 25 days and then start excel i will say that divide your 6 hours into 2 to 2 to 2 hours like first i will take python uh, excel and tableau i will go along with all these three because sometimes when you are bored of uh, python you can focus on excel and then tableau so you should plan your time in a mixed way to keep yourself engaged into the course i mean into the into your learning and also if you feel you are frustrated trust me just watch a good movie and you will be doing really fine eat something you like and then start working again next thing i will say is sql sql is one of the most important thing and people uh, miss it personally i missed it also in the beginning and i had an embarrassing moment in an interview so i will say that uh, don't miss sql 
focus on SQL also. I like uh, give a half an hour to one hour on SQL, learn about databases, how it works, how DDL, uh, data definition language, data manipulation language, all these commands works and uh, how joins work, how operations takes place, uh, some advanced topics also. At least you must know up to the level of joins to crack your uh, interviews. And then advanced SQL concepts, you just take an overview of it. You learn it with experience also. So SQL is easy to learn. 15 days will be sufficient for you to know enough SQL to crack any interview. I mean, not any advanced interview, but as a fresher, that's sufficient for you can cover it. But if you can give more extra time, that will be great. So guys, this was all about uh, main skills. One of the most important skill people don't focus on is communication skills. In as a data analyst or in, in, in any any field, communication is uh, very important. Like you must know how to express yourself, how to express a problem, how to uh, how to like. Sometimes in communication there may be some misinterpretation. How to calm down the situation through communication? How to Hold on yourself uh, in all situations. Uh, through communication, that can be really helpful because uh, when you can communicate with someone, whether with your colleague or your, with, in your family, in any situation, sometimes you may face a, a scenario where uh, it's not about office or about your family, but somewhere in a situation where you need to communicate in a, in a, in a, in a problem. So these things come very handy. And trust me, guys, uh, people miss it a lot. I have seen, uh, I have seen a lot of lots of people. They have good skills, but they don't know how to communicate properly, and that create problem for them in their job, in their family, in their relationship, in every scenario. So these things, like how you can improve this, I will say that uh, watch how how some people at high position they talk. Even as if you see like our prime minister, how he talks, uh, he's he communicates very nicely. So whether you like him or not, like him or not, I will say that just learn from his skills, what good skills he has. And any other good leader like APJ Abdul Kalam, if you see his writings, how he communicates. Uh, so just look at those good famous people who communicates very nicely. Like if you check Barack Obama's speech, he was a good communicator. That's why he was popular. So... I will say that uh, listen to these great people and if you can also read uh, good books which helps you in uh, improving your communication skills. So I will suggest that read good books, uh, listen to great people like uh, some, like you can listen to even Donald Trump. Uh, he is also a good speaker. If you see, he has a lot of great experience. So just listen to these people, read good books, and try to talk to yourself, like uh, what will you do in a certain scenario? How will you, how will you tackle the situation? So focus on this part, guys. Uh, communication is very important as a as in any role actually. Just through communication, you can get a good job. Um, I'm not talking about just in IT and in in anywhere. Communication helps a lot. Now another is critical thinking, like how will you tackle a particular scenario or particular problem like for example let me give an example like you are stuck in a problem and you are saying i can't do it you are saying i can't do it critical thinking teaches you like uh, you you must think positively how can i do it so just talking like this you get the habit of solving a problem and that's where critical thinking comes in like sometimes uh, uh, to solve a problem, problem may be very difficult. You may give up. You need to think positively and think how you can solve it, how you can uh, find a way to do it. First thing is persistence. Once you are persistent, then uh, critical thinking starts developing in your brain automatically. And here as a data analyst, what will you do? You will uh, get insights from the data. Sometimes data is not that proper. It doesn't have much features and still you need to take insights from it. That's where your critical thinking comes into existence. You create some new columns, you do feature engineering, and then you get insights from it so that your business can like uh, your client's business can get benefit from it. 
So critical thinking helps you in every scenario, in your job, in your personal life, in your in your relationships, in every scenario it helps. Next thing is uh, platforms to follow for data analyst preparation. Like for data analyst, uh, like uh, there are some platforms, Coursera, Udemy, CloudyML, FutureLearn, EDX. You can check these platforms. You can check their courses. You can compare their courses, uh, so, uh, topics they have covered so that you can decide which course to follow based on your uh, um, things you need to learn, topics you need to learn based on your budget. And uh, I will suggest that at our platform, you can find all these courses. Uh, I'm not talking about communication, but all these uh, Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Python, SQL. You can get these courses. We have a mentorship support also uh, from 6 p.m. to midnight. You can ask your doubts related to course with us on Skype. So uh, that's all about uh, uh, this session. If you liked it, please uh, hit a thumbs up and uh, subscribe our channel and share it with others. And you can comment below uh, uh, what things you loved about this about this session and what things would you like to would you like me to speak about in our next session? Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you.